It's our 30th win, and when he used that as, as motivation to spur us on to do something nobody has done here, it's the first 30 win uh, season, boy or girl, that we've had here. So it uh, gave us the motivation to make a little history today. Uh, so we, I was really pleased with how the energy we came with, and uh, we have a lot of athleticism and length, and we used that to our advantage early. Yeah, Phelps, when we got in the halftime, he said, put your foot on the gas, do not let up, and that's exactly what we did. So I'm really proud of us. It wasn't just a regional championship clinching win on Friday, but rather affirmation that this version of Brown County basketball is now completely comfortable in its own skin. Gone are the big game hiccups, the Menden Unity jinx, just the Lady Hornets here realizing that being themselves on the court is enough to get them where they want to go. And while yes, the Flynn Twins putting up four or more combined at night is a critical component of that identity. Yeah, I think it definitely set the tone. I mean, it shifted the momentum from the start to the end, and it felt really good to know that I was knocking my shots down because that's always the goal, <laughs> but yeah. Well, we need them to. They were kind of packing in. They had a 3-2 zone, and they were taking away the high post a little more than I anticipated them taking it away. So I actually had Claire start in there, uh, but I moved her to the outside and uh, tried to spread them out a little bit. She hit, knocked down a couple shots and kind of opened it up a little bit for us. So, um, they spread the floor and let us be able to get the ball to uh, Ashley and to Gracie a little more. So uh, they did a great job. Really happy with how they played. Just as importantly, it's the quality of the connective tissue and the role buy-in here that has this team playing its best basketball heading in to Abingdon on Tuesday. Ashley and Gracie are our difference makers. They, the way they play, they're a little gritty and uh, they play hard and not afraid to dive on the floor or dive in the bleachers or hit their head on the wall like Ashley did tonight. Uh, and when we, they play like that, uh, they're tough to match up with because they're both so athletic and so fast and uh, they just change the game for us. Oh yeah, I know they're gonna put in 110% effort every single game and I know they have my back. So when my shots go up, I know they're hustling for the rebound every single time. So it's great to have those type of teammates on the floor. With more than a little bit of an assist coming the Hornets way by way of the bleachers as well. No small factor looking forward with the super sectional set to be contested back in the nest. Our student section was phenomenal. Uh, they were here on Monday night too and uh, they were great and I think they really got in the heads of Westbury as well. Uh, but they, uh, it was like a boys game almost, as, as loud as it was and as many of them as it was. So uh, I, I can't be happy with how they behaved too. I mean, they were into it from the very tip uh, to the very end. So really happy with our student section and crowd in general. I mean, we had so many people show up to our game tonight. Like the student section was amazing. So I'm really happy that we had that support from everybody in the community. It really meant a lot to me. Uh, it's, it's incredible. It was the first girls team uh, in our program history to win two in a row. Uh, the COVID year, I think we had a really nice ball club that I think could have won one as well. And we might have been three in a row here, but uh, we can't go back to that one. But uh, it's pretty special. This group has won uh, a lot of ball games, and really more than any other group, this senior group. Uh, so they're pretty special, and uh, I'm going to be sad to see them go for sure. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll get Claire for you. Perfect.